My name is Dr. Mikey linsel Nikki, and I'm an optometrist. My partner and I opened our practice, Twin Forks Optometry, in 2015, and our office specializes in something called vision therapy and rehabilitation. I'm here to talk to you today about eye health and how to protect your eyes with all of the digital device use that we are encountering today. Our eyes are designed to be hunters and gatherers. We are meant to look in the distance and spot things. We are not designed to look up close for extended periods of time. But now this is what we are required to do all day, every day. Everyone thinks if I can see clearly, my eyes are okay. And that's a really common misconception. And especially if you can see clearly, you tend not to think about your eyes. But seeing clearly is just the first step in the visual system. The main threats for our eyes in today's world is really that we are overusing our eyes in every instance. We are on our devices all day, every day. We are on our phones, our iPads, our tablets, our TVs, where our computers, everything that we use in our life to stay connected to family and friends, to complete our schoolwork or our academic responsibilities or professional responsibilities, forces us to be on these digital devices, which can have potentially harmful effects to our eyes and visual function. Gamers or people that like to view gaming online events for long periods of time and streaming are at the most risk for negative effects from digital device use because they are spending so much time. They are likely required to spend time on their devices for school purposes or for their jobs, but then on top of that, they are taking their personal time looking at these devices for hours and hours on end, exposing their visual system to the potential harmful effects of this device use. Digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome is a diagnosis that is made when someone is exposed to digital devices for a long period of time and they present with very specific symptoms. These symptoms include dry eye, headache, intermittent blurred vision, eye strain, and even back and neck ache. Key causes of digital eye strain are exposure to blue light, glare from our computer screens, dry eye, and the need to have to focus for long periods of time at our devices. Everyone is wondering, is my device use going to cause me to need glasses? And the short answer is, we're finding out that there is a link between nearsightedness and device use. When we're on our devices for a long period of time, our visual system has to increase the eye's focus. When we have to do this for a long period of time, the visual system gets very tired. And the way that the body compensates is by causing our visual system to become nearsighted so that we don't have to work as hard when we are looking up close. But what that translates into is then not being able to see clearly in the distance. Myopia is quickly becoming a pandemic of different sorts. We know and studies show that the world is rapidly becoming more myopic or more nearsighted. They are showing that by 2050, half of the world's population is going to be myopic. Macular degeneration is a disease of the eye that affects the central portion of our visual system that can lead to blindness. Something to note about macular degeneration is that there is a genetic component to developing macular degeneration, but there's also environmental factors that can contribute to the progression of macular degeneration. Smoking, an unhealthy lifestyle, as well as exposure to blue light. Blue light is emitted from the sun. It is our biggest source of blue light. But our devices also emit that same blue light, although at a much lower level, the proximity of our devices and the amount of time that we're spending on our devices is something that is a cause for concern that we need to be aware of. 
blue light is high energy visible light. It is right next to UV rays on the visible light spectrum. Interestingly, our eyes are not very good at absorbing that blue light. So when we are exposed to blue light, it actually goes through all the layers of our eye and it can affect the very, very back structures of our eye, including the retina. If you are a serious gamer and you want to protect your eyes, I have three big things that I want you to do. First and foremost, get an eye exam to make sure that there are no underlying visual issues that could be interrupting how you're performing while you're playing your games. Secondly, I encourage you to take small visual breaks throughout the gaming process. By taking a few seconds to break your focus, it will prolong your ability to perform for a longer period of time. And finally, and most importantly, you want to get a good pair of blue light blocking glasses that will protect your eyes for the short and long-term effects of our device use. I recommend Gunner blue light blocking glasses by far to any other glasses out there. And the reason is, is because Gunner's lens patented technology doesn't just reduce blue light. They address all of the areas that are contributing to digital eye strain. The patented lens technology reduces exposure to blue light at all different levels depending on your needs. When you stare at your screen, you actually blink about half the amount of times that you're supposed to. So most people feel a little bit of dry eye while they're on their devices. Gunner lenses help to reduce that dry eye. Their patented lens design and frame design have a specific curvature that traps moisture that reduces the effects of dry eye. And lastly, they have a little bit of focusing power in them to help that eye not have to work so hard when we're looking here for long periods of time. So these lenses do more than just block blue light and that's really what sets them apart. My professional stance on blue light is that we just don't know the full long-term effects. But if we have the opportunity to protect our eyes from that blue light, why wouldn't we?